Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Simplicity here. I'm going to do a strategy breakdown on kind of what to do or what at least I do when facing an, an opponent with balloons because they're hard to counter sometimes in most situations and expos which a lot of people are frustrated about and uh, well even Pekka is in there. So let's jump right in. Uh, Pierre is the opponent. He's a very skilled person. Um, so let's jump right in. Oh, we'll see what see what I can show you guys. All right, of course. Every time we're gonna wait for the elixir bar to fill right up. <clears throat> um, and right off the hop, I don't start with elixir pump, which I usually like to start with. So I'm gonna go with hog to rush in, try and get that elixir pump up. Okay, he drops an expo, which my hog goes to work on instantly. Uh, my dragon goes to work on those minions. He goes to usually defend the expo right after. Usually everyone defends with minion horde. So I drop the spear goblins to help back up the dragon and the minion for uh, damage on the tower. He doesn't drop anything here, which I think is a mistake. I think a wizard would have definitely helped the situation out. Um, so I drop an elixir pump in the middle to defend the towers in case he drops a balloon or anything. Um, so he drops a prince far back to give him some time to build elixir, and of course I think he drops a balloon. Alright, so that prince is going to go to work on my, my elixir pump to bring that balloon to that tower. See, I dropped a golem to tank the prince. But at the same time, that balloon's going to take my tower because I didn't have strong enough air defense to take it down before it got to the tower. So well played, Pierre. Um, so my dragon's going to go work on that balloon. He's going to drop a P.E.K.K.A. to go to work on that golem. So I'm going to drop some minions to try and go to work on that P.E.K.K.A. He drops a wizard, which is good counter against uh, a golem as well. And of course the small troops like my minions and my dragon as well. So a good counter against a wizard is a fireball. In most cases, if your fireball is strong enough and the wizard's not too high of a level, it will kill it instantly, just like that right there. Also taking a little bit of health from the P.E.K.K.A. because it's good to try and group when you do a ranged attack like that. All right, I'm going to mirror my fireball, take out those minions, and now distract that P.E.K.K.A. And of course the prince. You want to draw them into your other tower and make them run around. You don't want them to do any damage to your towers just like that so you just keep distracting them making them stop and run over so my hog runs in to do a couple hits on that tower gets a couple hits off and now he places an expo further back to defend when he when he probably would have been better off to actually put it forward to actually shoot my tower so i place an elixir pump to build elixir uh instead of actually rushing so the time will dwindle the health of that expo instead of rushing into attack it right away so i drop a golem on the opposite side of that pekka which is a bad idea now so i mirror a golem on the same side to take the damage from that pekka because you want to keep that pekka away from your tower so now i'm going to drop a dragon because he dropped a balloon closest to that balloon you want to try and make sure you hit that balloon before you hit any of the, his other tanky enemies there we go minions and the dragon went to work on that balloon Fireball to weaken that P.E.K.K.A. and the other guys and the dragon dropped as well to help along with the minions and then I mirrored another dragon to take care of the minion horde and now I can you can see that I'm just going to work there. <clears throat> now in this case I want a fireball to finish this game off quickly so I'm going to try and get drop a few troops to defend the tower but at the same time get that fireball up and loaded so I can hit that tower for that clutch win. Awesome! And that's kind of how I would handle a situation with balloons, pekkas, and expos. And of course, Prince is a very good rushing uh, troop as well. So that's kind of how I handle a situation like that. I hope this helps. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If there's anything else you would like me to change or any new videos you would like me to post for different strategies, just leave a comment and I will do my best to accommodate. Thank you, and this is Limplicity signing out.